Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set a schedule on your TP-Link Casa smart home device. And I should add that this is with the voiceover screen reader on your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch. So first, let's open the Casa app. Casa. The Godwin's House button. Tap to enter the home selection page. Now, we have to swipe to the room that our device is in. If your device isn't in a room and you have a lot of devices, it might be a bit hard to scroll through them all. Luckily, I put my device in a room. So, I'm going to go to that room. The room is called Family Room. Add new device or group button. Guest bedroom air purifier. Turn on at 12 p.m. All devices selected. Favorites, not deck, not third floor, master bed, family room, family room, not selected, button, family room, selected. So now we're on the family room room page and we can scroll to the device that we want to essentially um, set the schedule on. Guest bedroom, not select, laundry, front, first, Andrew, office, landing, view current, family room. State family room box fan. St family room lamp. State Victrola lamp. St tab bar. St fan view landing view. Cur family room box fan. St fam st fam state family room right window light. And I believe it's this one. Page. Page. The add new div. State plug five. St set schedule. Back. B add schedule. Device to add back button. Oh, nope, the other one. Page five of six. Uh, back button. Family room box fan. Tab bar. St Victrola lamp. St tab bar. St Victrola status. Plug two. St family room right window. St family room left window light. And as you can probably see, the voiceover screen reader is struggling sometimes in the CASA app to like it's like jumping a bit so you might experience that and i'm not even going to edit this out to show you because i want to show you exactly what happens sometimes but anyways i'm going to find the device i'm looking for family family room right family family room left window light and is that and is that device so i'm going to double tap on the device page And now we're going to go to the button that says set schedule. It's pronounced schedule by voiceover instead of schedule. I think they made a bit of a typo there. Give them a bit of slack. Um, but we're going to go to that button. Back button settings. Family room plug six status set schedule. That button. Back button. Next, we're going to press the add button. And it will probably tell you that your schedule is empty. Add button. Schedule. Your schedule is empty. Yep, you can add events by tapping the plus button on the top right. And the plus button is the add button. So we're going to press the add button. Schedule. Add button. Close button. And if you went to the your schedule's empty element, you would have swiped to the right to find, or to the left to find the add button. The add button is also at the top right corner of the screen, just like it said. So now we're in the schedule creation menu, and there's a couple of options, which we're going to explore. Save button. There's a, I was just on the close button. There's also a save button. New schedule. New schedule. Action. So we can pick the action. I want this to turn it on. Turn off power. Selected. So turn off power is selected. Turn on power, not selected. So I want turn on power to be selected. Turn on power, selected. So now turn on power is selected. And I can go over to, uh, if I want it to be sunrise, sunset, or at a specific time that I want the schedule to fire. Time. Time, selected, button. Sunrise, not selected, button. Sunset, not selected, button. And I'm going to pick Sunset. Sunset. Selected. 
and now we can set the time. And I want this to come on 30 minutes before sunset. At sunset, picker item, adjustable, 301 of 600. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. And here's where you select, um, exactly when you want what, how much time before or after sunset you want it to come on at. So, I'm going to set this to 30 minutes before sunset. By swiping down, I should add. 59 minutes, 58 minutes, 57, 56 minutes, 55 minutes, 54 minutes, 53 minutes, 52 minutes, 51 minutes, 50 minutes, 49 minutes, 48 minutes, 47 minutes, 46 minutes, 45 minutes, 34 minutes, 43 minutes, 32 minutes, 31 minutes, 40 minutes, 40 minutes, 271 of 600. All right, 30 minutes is set, and now we can, uh, let's see. Before, pick her item, action, turn off, before, repeat, heading. Oh yeah, we set how, what, when we want to repeat. Now I want this to repeat on all seven days of the week, and those days will be selected. Let me just show you. Selected, 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 Sunday, button. Selected, Monday, button. Selected, Tuesday, button. Selected, Wednesday, button. Selected, Thursday, button. Selected, Friday, button. Selected, Saturday, button. Selected, Saturday, button. And they are all selected, as you could hear. So now, if you want specific days to not be selected, you just double tap on the day. So for example, if I don't want Saturday to be selected, Saturday. And I should mention that Saturday is now going to be unselected and the schedule will not run on that day. And now I press the save button. How many good save button? And the save button save button is save button towards the top right corner, not top right corner, but it's near the top right of your screen. Loading back button. So now your schedule is saved. And that is how you create a schedule on a casted device. Now this particular device was the HS300 Smart 6 Plug Power Strip. It's a pretty old device actually. Um, however, this will work on any um, casted device. And the options should at least be similar on those devices. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And bye for now.